I've had people mention this before and I just want to clear it up. I'm blonde. So my hair really doesn't like come through. I actually, uh, I'm, I'm quite hairy. Wow. But okay. I spend so much time outside that not only am I blonde, but my hair is bleached. Like you, you cannot wow. see it. Like I, 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 I've had people say that like, Oh, like do you shave your whole body? And I'm like, no, I don't. Wow. I, I, I wow. do have hair. I promise. I no, I definitely believe you. In fact, I think that human <laughs> beings, I think human beings have even more hair than chimps, but our hair follicles are just thinner, so it doesn't really yeah. come out. But it's like if they were the same thickness, we would look like you'd look like a yeti. You'd look like a big blonde yeti from like uh, like Dragon Ball GT. I don't know if you uh, remember that show. Yes, and I just saw a comment from Hero Alchemy asking, "Did I cut my hair?" Yes, I did cut my hair, and I'll show you. Oh man, I have. okay, you still got so, you still got the tail. I still got the I still got my braid. I still got my my little rat tail, but Good. I did cut, I did shave the sides because it was just getting too much to manage. Seriously. True. But it do does remind me in a way, I don't want to exit too far from what I was saying earlier, but it does remind me in a way from Dragon Ball where you had Goku with his tail. And once you cut the tail off, then Goku <laughs> lost his strength and you have the legend of yes. Samson who had long hair. And once the so what do you think is going on there with the uh, we... long hair? What are you referencing the chat earlier today? In the we we because I know you're still in the hair chat. I don't know how much. You yes, still look I am at in the it, hair. So okay, I haven't seen today's hair chat, but I don't know if my haircut was mentioned. Eventually, I want to find a good balance between having something manageable and something larger than what I currently have here. Get but the, uh, get eat mohawk or mullet. Man, I don't even know. I'm gonna have to think about that one. <laughs> but uh, but long hair to you, like, so, is it a symbol of nobility, power? Like, what is it? Yes. So there was something interesting brought up in the hair chat today. And basically we, there was a thread that was posted about long hair and someone posed the question, um, why do monks have short hair? Because if monks are spiritual and ascetic, it would follow that they would generally have long hair. And you see that in the, in the European tradition where a lot of times druids and such did have long hair, but the, the point that was brought up was long hair is symbolic of sensuality. So you have Samson and King David in the Bible, who not only were very spiritual, but they were very sensual. Both of them had uh, ro romance and, and basically like womanizing as part of their mythos. And that the theory was that long hair is symbolic of sensuality. And when you cut that hair, you basically show that you are not uh, sensual, that you are... Um, sort of uh, forsaking that part of your humanity. And we see that with uh, priests, with monks who are celibate. And they, they cut their hair, and it sort of is a symbolic of rejecting that sensuality. Interesting. I, th I think the long hair uh, signals something that a peacock's tail signals, because it's a major disadvantage, right? It makes you easier to snag. It makes you more susceptible to predators. Um, like to be like Cal Drogo in Game of Thrones, like the fact that he had that long hair was a symbol that he had never fallen. So I think the long hair doesn't actually reflect like strength as much as your ability to rock it. Yeah, well, that, there's, a, there's a quote that I love, and it said, long hair, on a, long hair in men, it, uh, it makes handsome men more attractive, and it makes ugly men more fearsome. So <laughs> it's, it's true. Interesting. If you're, if you're some, like, like if, if uh, I don't know who's a good, like, ugly person, but if they had, like, long hair, they would be mu that like much more fearsome. I well, think. Well, I think there's that that's, not, not that I want to call him ugly because I think everyone's beautiful in their own way. Yada yada. <laughs> but someone like uh, Chris Chan, for instance, that is an example yes. of somebody who started out with short hair and then he became Christina, and now she has much more terrifying. Well, she's <laughs> violent too because uh, there was an incident where she uh, was in going... the GameStop. <laughs> yes, yeah, so she wanted the GameStop yeah. to recolor <laughs> to vandalize the Sonic the Hedgehog figure <laughs> because because this new version of Sonic did not have uh, his arms colored the correct way. He had blue if, arms. If we pepper spray enough GameStop employees, we can get Sonic's arms the right color. I promise you this. 
<laughs> it's like the, the Mike Ma thing where it's like, if we can have Rome again, if we smash enough BMW windows, if we pepper spray enough GameStop employees, we can fix Sonic's color scheme. Mark my words. Yeah, he's a true Osama bin Laden of his time. By the way, there was a lot of, there was a lot of light. There's a lot of light that's hitting your camera. I don't know if it's possible to adjust well, it.